Hey everyone, what's going on? It's BraveGigeon here and welcome back to some more re-engineering and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys a project I've been working on for quite a few weeks now that I finally got around to actually finishing. Now I showed you guys part of this during the stream the other day and that is my Robot Wars project. Now it's nothing big, it's nothing flash, it's something that I had been starting ever since the wheels with the suspension that were brought in a couple months back. Uh, but since then I didn't really like the mechanics that we had and the wheels were a little bit funky and they didn't quite work well So I kind of put the project on hold and I kind of came back to it here and there and I only just finished it off today uh, Minus the vehicles now. I'm not a vehicle designer I'm not really great with vehicles especially when it comes to wheels So I'll leave that up to you guys, but I want to show you guys the quick and easy arena that I made for you guys Well, it's not really quick and easy, but I'll show you guys the arena I made that kind of has taken some inspiration from my latest pinball map. So, meet my Robot Wars Arena. And as you can tell, it is very, very pretty. And I, I, I did the same thing I did with the lighting, much like I did in the pinball thing. If you, if you don't know how to do that, I'll explain that towards the end of the episode. So, let me explain some of the obstacles that you'll be running into here in Robot Wars. So, you have the spinny bumper here, at the bumper wheel. That doesn't do much damage, at least the wheel itself doesn't, but the wedges that are spinning around on the sides, they can actually destroy your vehicle quite heavily, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, then you have these thruster pits that was actually suggested to me by one of you guys uh, when I was streaming last time, so I decided to include these in. They're only on half thrust, having it on full thrust destroys the ship way too much, so I've turned them down quite a bit, so that they still destroy your vehicle, it'll just take a little... Uh, I think it'll take about 5 or so seconds for your ship to be immobilized completely, uh, so I wouldn't save it for too long. And then in the middle here you have a grinder pit, which is absolutely fun if you manage to knock someone inside of it. As you can tell, these light up really nicely with the red lighting. So let's go off to these spawning rooms over here. I'll show you guys how these are laid out as well. Oh, and the whole wall is covered in grinders. Because, well, I feel if you're trying to hide away from the battle, if you get pushed into the side of the wall, this thing here can deal quite a bit of damage as well, depending on how long you're held into it. So let's go and look at these rooms here. Now, this is the rooms that you'll be presented with when you go to make your own ship. Now, for the rules of this game, I'm going to have a few classes. Uh, so, for example, like weight classes. Uh, for light vehicles, it'll be under about 10,000 kilograms. Medium is 15,000, and I think heavy will be 25,000. So, depending on uh, depending on what class you want to play with your friends, I'll show you guys a few vehicles that I have. I have one really teeny one that's I was just using for testing. It's more like my crash test dummy, but I I, I was driving him around. And it was quite it's quite fun actually to see how these traps work, and I'll show you guys that as well. And over here, the rooms do have different colors. I do like how the uh, the floor here lights up. With the lights. Now this is actually white. It's not yellow uh, if, if you're thinking that. If I build it out here you'll see that it's... Oops, strong color. I actually reloaded the world so I have to go back to where the white actually is. Yeah, there we go. So that was the white I was using all along here and underneath the light it actually goes this bright golden yellow color. And each room like I said has their own color. So you've got red, green, gold or yellow and then you have blue over here which I think has a little teeny basic ship I've made that I was using for crashing and testing and stuff. So let's get inside this real quickly and I'll show you guys some of the actual things you can crash into and how the damage actually works. So first things first, we're going to do one of the bumper wheels. And th this, like I said before, it does quite a, a, quite a significant amount of damage if it actually hits you in the right place. So if I just get, say, say bumped into it like that, not too much damage, no biggie. But depending on where it hits you and how it hits you, it can destroy half your ship quite easily without even breaking a sweat. Now... Like I said, this thing is only if you're dumb enough to either run into it, like that, or if someone actually pushes you into it. And I have no idea where the ship went. There it is. The cockpit is gone, but the ship is still rolling. Poor thing. It'll probably end up rolling to one of the thruster pits eventually. But uh, let, let us paste another ship here. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh well, I don't think I have a spare of that guy, so I think I'll have to reload the world eventually. So if I go over to here, we actually have one of the other ships I made. Now this, this like I said... I'm not that good at designing ships, so I just made a really, really basic one that has a few mechanics that I think are usable in this thing. And another rule I'm going to set is that you can have a Gatling gun, but you can't have rocket launchers. Because I feel if you have a rocket launcher, it would be over way too quickly. So let's show you guys a few mechanics of this vehicle before I actually take it out there. So I've turned my HUD on, you guys can see I've assigned a few keys down the bottom. Uh, one and three allows me to rotate the gun to different directions which I think is pretty cool, and I can just left click to fire that, and god, that does way more damage than I thought it does. Huh. Uh, anyways, and then you have 4 and 5, which are actually these 
pistons on the side here, and the reason why they're here is in case I get knocked over or flipped over, I can use these to actually uh, balance myself out, or if I feel I'm going to flip over, I can just quickly press them, and they'll come out, and I can save myself. So let, let's, take the, let's take this thing through a little bit of a, a drive-thru, and I don't know how or why that did so much damage over there. I, it shouldn't really do that. Not, not that I know of, anyway. But it seems like it's actually doing quite a significant amount of damage. Uh, let's move on from that and let's show you guys uh, the grinding wall and then I'll show you guys the pit in the middle as well. As well as the thruster damage if you didn't already know what that is. So, say someone bumped me into that. Now, like I said, that won't do too much damage initially, but over time it will actually disable the functionality of the wheels if it's, it was grinding away one of the wheels. So for example, if I let it grind this one for a little, little bit longer, and you'll eventually notice that I actually won't be able to turn it. And, oh, well there we go. It's grind it down a little bit further than I wanted, but you'll notice that the wheel is actually disabled. So you can slowly destroy an enemy ship by pushing them into these grinding walls. If you hold them up against it for long enough, they will become immobilized so that they won't be able to do much of anything at all. I think that's uh, that's a pretty cool way of actually killing someone, if I had to say so myself. Uh, so yeah, now I've got my wheels disabled and I can't really do much. I'm basically just going to be spinning around until either some enemy hits me or I crash myself into some thrusters. I actually want to try and see if I can get over there. I don't think I can without any wheels, but hang on. No, we can make this work. Okay, and oops, we're going to flip, and there you go. You can use the pistons like that. Thank God I got to demonstrate that at some point. Okay, so let's let's turn around. Let's see if we can go into the thrusters. I think we've... Oh, I was going to say, I think we've lined up perfectly with that one, but I don't think we have... Okay, let's... There we go. So, like said, you stay in this for a little bit too long, you're dead. And actually, that got me a lot quicker than I thought it would have... But, uh, no, it actually works rather effectively, and like I said, if you do get pushed into that, you're most likely screwed. I, I think I must have turned them up quite a bit, because I, I don't remember them taking uh, that much damage away so quickly. But anyways, let's me grab the other vehicle here again, I'll paste it down. Oops, got a bit of a bang, but not too bad. And let's go inside the, the, the pit here. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll put a vehicle here, and then I'll actually push it into the pit. Just show you guys how easy it is to actually push someone that you don't like into a pit of death. Uh, so let's put this over here, spawn it down, okay, and let's get inside this vehicle here. First person view is quite nice. I actually like how this vehicle handles. I'm still getting used to the, the whole wheel mechanic. It feels a little bit weird to get used to because the wheels do bounce around quite a bit still. But uh, let's just say this guy's dumb enough to get this close to the pit. Let's let's see if we can actually just push him in there. He has his handbrake on too, which is not very good for him. But he's fallen down to the pit, and there's a truck driving past, which is typical. But now you can see just how much damage that actually does do over time in this vehicle. Oh my god. Don't, don't go in. Oh my god. No. Okay. That's, they're both screwed. Oh god. They're gone. They are, they are gone. Oh, that works so nicely. I like it. It's a little bit messy. But um, I, I think we can deal with a little bit of mess after, after a while of putting someone's ship into this thing. So yeah, um, that's that's the basics of the map. I'll show you guys the different traps and how they function, uh, as and the colors, by the way, if you didn't already know, and I'll go through that again for you guys. I did it in the pinball video, but I thought I'd do it for this one here as well. So let me just create a separate structure so it's easy enough for me to manage. So what you want to do uh, is you want to create, obviously, a light source. So I'll go down to where, wherever one of my lights are. So that, for example. And you want to paint your surface black, or at least as close enough to black as you really want. The darker, the better, I think. Uh, so let me just find, where's my actual black black? Is that black black? Uh, is that really black black? No, that isn't. It reset my color values. I don't know why I did that. I actually had them assigned all before. So there we go. That's a pretty that's a pretty dark black color. And if you want, you can have a ramp on this as well. As long as the ramp is black, it should look really, really nice. So let me just put it this way so you can actually see the light reflecting on it. So let me get that little bit of power now, just to show you guys. Now, right now, it doesn't really look like much, but if I go here... And if I change the interior light to whatever color you want, so let's just say I want to go purple just for the sake of having a really nice purple uh, purple color here. Uh, what's that? That's that there. And go there, and there we go. That, that's, that's an alright purple color. So what you want to do is you want to turn your radius all the way up and your intensity all the way up. And what you get is you'll get this really nice glow like I've gotten all over here. So basically intensity maximum, radius maximum, and whatever colors you want. I think blue and uh, purple go really, really nice against stuff. Uh, red is okay as well, though it, it doesn't look as good or as, as dominant as the others do. 
Now, blue, like I said, looks really, really nice. And green, actually, surprisingly enough, actually looks really, really cool over here. You have, like, this sort of, like, razor-type look. And especially the ground, when the ground's white like that and it glows really nicely. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the arena. I will be putting this up on the workshop if you guys want to see it. I know this idea isn't exactly original or anything. I'm pretty sure someone would have done it by now. Uh, I swear, some may have done it back when the wheels came out, but I haven't really looked for it, so I just thought I'd do my own take on it. Anyways, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will leave it here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome, everyone.